What is going on everybody? It is me. It is your old pal. It is the original gamer Stevie Stroh. And what are we looking at here today for the Color Computer 3? Well, we are looking at Gauntlet 2 for the Color Computer 3. This is an incredible DICOM product. Um, written by Roland Knight, board and graphics by Dave Dyes. Press any key to begin. Number of players, one. I always like being the elf. I will be the elf and I will actually, this is pretty cool that you can um, really customize your um, controls. And so what are we looking at here? We're looking at pretty much a spot on, picture perfect version of Gauntlet. Um, scrolling's pretty smooth, colors are good. It's a Coco 3, so you're gonna have at least 16 colors on screen, that's nice. Digital sound effects are good. Now the one thing this doesn't have, it has good digital sound effects, but it didn't have the music from the game. So I took the liberty to put in a playlist of some dramatic music that will hopefully set the mood of dungeon diving here. Uh, I like that we got the ghosts. I like the sounds. The sounds are good. Matter of fact, I want to turn these sounds up just a little time bit. Just a little bit. Little wee little bit there. Alright, let's make these sounds just a wee little bit louder. Uh, that's cool. That is like a complete digitized copy of the arcade sound of that door opening. Very cool stuff. Do we want to exit the game? Why not? We will exit the game. I love the gauntlet music. Very cool. Uh, you have your scoreboard on the right. I think what is cool about this is that this would support four simultaneous players. And it's very cool how you can customize your controls. You could pick what character you wanted to be and you could pick if you wanted to be one of the left and right joysticks or the left and right keyboard um, setup. So I don't know what all the various keyboard arrangements are. But I can imagine this being kind of cool, getting four people going on some Gauntlet. Gauntlet's such a great game, such an iconic game. Um, here we go, we're grabbing some food and getting some treasure here. I can see my health. My health is right, was right around 850. You got your different creature types, right? You got So you got your grunts, whatever the heck they were called, those dudes. You got your ghosts. What I don't know yet is I'm not sure if I'm seeing different shades of bad guy. Um, one thing the arcade did was um, you had different shades of ghosts. So you had like a bright ghost was a stronger one where a darker gray ghost was a weaker one or it could have been in the reverse. But you had kind of three different shades of bad guy uh, depending on how tough they were. I'm not sure if this is fully showing all the different shades of the bad guys. I haven't played, played it long enough to tell. Right now all the bad guys I see on screen look about the same. Um, I do see different shades in the bad guy generator, so those monster spawners look like they have different shades to them. But I don't know if the creatures themselves are multi-shaded or not. Um, minor detail. It's definitely light years ahead of what we had on the Coco 2. Coco 2, this was on a generic black background, you know, you didn't have like the colored tiles for the floor and all these cool features. So the fact that we've got the amount of color that we have was quite the treat. Being a lifelong Coco owner, being um, so used to li you know living with so many limitations on the limitations on the amount of graphics you had, the amount of colors you had, um, this is doing a really good job of exploiting some of the more advanced capabilities of our Color Computer Three, the Coco Three. You got your Coco Three yet? Uh, I see, um, okay, I need to pay attention to maybe the color of their eyes because those had like kind of dark pink eyes. I wonder if maybe there's different color eyes for the bad guys. Uh, I'm making my way into the berserker area. Come on. Yes. Gantlet. Gantlet. We're playing the gantlet. It's not gauntlet technically, it's gantlet. Gantlet. It's like uh, something you'd find in... Uh, and Bastin. Hey, you got that Gantlet game over there when you when you packed your car were you playing some Gantlet? Um, I don't know, but yeah, you know what it is. It's Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Hey, knuckleheads. I don't hear the noise of the bad guys beating on me like the boom, 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 boom. But the arrow sounds are pretty cool. Shooting the bad guy generators. Oh, don't shoot the treasure. Elf shot the food. 
Alright, let's go ahead and exit down. My health is down. That little sound there is a complete uh, sampling of the original arcade sound. Very cool. Pick a door. I got keys. I got keys for days. I got keys out the wazoo over here. Four keys. And for my Spanish speaking friends, that's cuatro. Alright, so what the heck is that? What are you? Oh, those might be the wizards. I didn't recognize them. They look kind of funny. Um, yeah, kind of look like a weird kind of ghost thingy from the for a second there. But yeah, that might have been the wizards. It looks like the floor, the the floor patterns change. It's a different type of tile on the floor. But I almost wish the floor was a different color because there's not a lot of contrast between the floor and the bad guys. And he may have just ran out of color. I'm not sure how many colors are in use because I do see like the blues and greens and stuff over here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess those are the wizards. Those were hard for me to figure out at first. But those are the wizards. It's like their robe, I guess. Look like some type of weird flowing whatever, you know. But yeah, the wizards would have would occasionally disappear on you. They could like turn invisible. Evil wizards. Stinking wizards. But yeah, cool game. Cool game. The scrolling's pretty decent. Game over. Press any key. What the heck? What, what, what is going on over here? Press any key. I don't know about that, but while we debate that, let's go to commercial real quick. Hi, this is Ryan Klein. I'm at the 2016 Coco Fest, and you're watching the original Gamer TV show. All right. Um, press any key. I don't know. I guess I died. I guess I died. So why don't we try this? One more time. What do I got to press? I got to press a key on the keyboard. All right, one player. You know what? Who do I want to be? Let's try being the warrior this time. And I'm going to be the left joystick. And warrior and has his little projectile um, axe. Oh, he just glitched. My warrior just glitched. I, you know what? I saw this happen before in an emulator, too. I'm wondering if that's just the copy. Wondering if this is a bad copy that's circulating. Somebody gave this thing a communicable disease. Um, you know, it's kind of soiled and tainted some of the bits in here. And now I've got freaking uh, my dude's got the hep or something. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, that's a strange little glitch there. So um, that's actually going to bother me. <laughs> so I'm going to pause this. My OCD is going to kill me. I'm not going to be able to deal with that. So I'm going to be right back. i got to switch characters. Hi, this is John Linville and Neil Blanchard. We are the Coco Crew. I hope you're enjoying watching Stevie Stroh play video games, especially the Coco games. And when you're done with that, check out our podcast at CocoCrew.org. All right, we're back. And we're going to hopefully pick a non-glitchy character this time. So we're going to pick... I can't pick Warrior. I don't want to be an old dude, so I guess my last, um, <clears throat> my last option here now is hopefully is I can do a little... Um, role play cross dressing here and be the Valkyrie and hopefully she won't be all glitchy here. Alright Valkyrie how are you looking so far? You're looking pretty good girlfriend. Alright and so Valkyrie is throwing swords. Alright sweet. So, ooh ghosts yeah so these ghosts all have the same color eyes as far as I can tell there's no way to distinguish what um what level the enemy is. It's not the end of the world. They're bad. They're all bad. They all got to die. Right? We don't treat them any differently. We treat them as shoot to kill, kill to shoot. Right? So, all good. Come on, girlfriend. Let's do this. I love that exit sound. All right. Let's grab our goodies over here. I think there was something in the corner. Where are you, Dingleberry's going? All right. Got you. I got you, babe. All right, I got you. There's something up here. Yeah, little potion. Oh, I forgot. I don't even know how to shoot potions. I guess that's what the second button is for. Um, I had this whole time. I've had a potion and forgot I had it and uh, didn't use it. Didn't know how to use it. So um, I am gonna try to use the second button because I think when I started this game, I think it asked me if I had a one or two button joystick, and I chose two. So we'll try button two in a minute. Not exactly sure what to expect from that button. Yeah, the digital sounds are good. They serve the purpose. And um, I guess that was kind of a nice um, upgraded feature of the Coco 3 was having enough horsepower to have 
uh, sound that wouldn't freeze your game system. You know, a lot of times the, the very fact a computer had to make sound, it just choked the CPU, so noises would pause gameplay. Um, these sounds don't seem to be disruptive at all. Open that door, die, you freaking little putzes. Taking care of business over here. Interesting how the characters are kind of masked off. They're kind of masked off with this um, kind of, you know, tan, tannish color that the floor is. Okay, that's the key. So everything's kind of masked off in brown. Your, your shots are masked off. The, um, the, the ghosts have a little bit of masking around them. Um, so I guess brown is the color of the floor, and I suppose it doesn't change on the different levels. But I haven't made it to that many levels. How's my health? My health is down to 679. Let's, there we go. That did it. I shot my... I, I used my magic. And that was the sound. So this is using authentic digital sounds from the arcade game. Or should we say arcade-inspired sounds? So I wouldn't say they were, you know, directly lifted by any means. Got more health. Very cool, very, very nice. Oh, I don't know what this music is here. It's like Gregorian monk chants or something here. We are playing Gauntlet, amen. All right, uh, grab that key, beba. Come on, beba. You got to take care of business here, lady. Beba. Hey, beba. All right. I think if I had any complaint, and I wouldn't call it a complaint, just a, maybe a, a wish. Um, <clears throat> I wish it was just a little bit faster. It's just a wee bit sluggish. And I'm sure it's doing a lot. And it's not doing hardware scrolling. It's doing software <clears throat> scrolling. So I know this thing, this CPU is getting to work out. And I certainly appreciate the game. But if I had one criticism or one wish... It would be that the gameplay would be a little tiny bit faster. Granted, Gauntlet is not a speedrun type game, but I do feel minor, minor sluggishness playing this. Nothing majorly distracting. But it would be nice if it was a wee bit faster. Just a wee bit, a wee little bit faster. Shooting out like a boss. I got three keys. I can unlock some stuff, man. I can go places. I can, I'm like a freaking janitor right now. I just got a ton of keys. I can unlock anything in the building. Alright. Come on, you dingbats. I'm gonna take you out. Elf, don't shoot the food. Alright, take this ding dong out. Alright, these, uh, yeah, I guess these are the wizards. Not really blown away by the way the wizards look. They look kind of funky. They just look like weird ghosts. They don't quite look like wizards to me. How's my health? My health is 408. I need to find some more food. Come here, Grandpa. Luckily, I'm in no hurry of him catching me anytime soon. <laughs> I'll just uh, take my time walking on one foot while I escape you, slow pokes. Uh, huh, what's going on over here? Over here. So that's where I started from. I don't need to waste my keys and all that crap up there. Uh, it's like it'd be a waste of four keys that open doors that go nowhere. All right, grandpas, we're taking you out. I'm trying to take you out. Holy crap! Gantlet, we're playing Gantlet. We're playing Gantlet, honey. When you're done packing the car, get over here and let's play some Gantlet. It's the best Bostonian I can do. Get away from me, you creeps! I, I shot the food. Elf shot the food. And technically, Valkyrie shot the food. I'm in the middle of a freaking police brutality beatdown here right now. Don't you know that Valkyrie lives matter, people? Come on. Boom. I got out of there. Got out of there. Come on. 
Pardon me while I just enjoy the theme music that's playing in the background. All right, we're picking up chess mice. Health is down to 170. I need to get some food or I will die. I don't know if there's a key you can press to insert more coins, like more health, like you could in the arcade. You could just keep throwing money in this thing and boosting up your health. You could also continue if you had to. I think. Just, you know, pay to play. The grunts. My health is down to 155. Die, grunts. Stupid grunt. And these guys don't make any noise when they beat on you. And they should. I shot the food. I shot the sheriff. And when I don't see are the people who throw stuff at you. I haven't seen the demons yet or the little lobbers that throw stuff at you. I haven't seen those dudes. Um, where am I going? Besides getting stuck on a wall. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm at the bottom of the maze. Where the heck is the way out of this crazy place? I don't know, but let's just jump in here Leroy Jenkins style. See what kind of trouble we can get into. My health is down to two. Game over. Press any key. That is it. That is it. I'm dead. I died. Hi, I'm Mike Rowan. You're watching Stevie Stroll, the original gamer. Um, but whatever. That was fun. It was good times, right? So that was Gauntlet or Gantlet 2 or Gauntlet 2 or Gauntlet or Gauntlet or Gauntlet. I don't know. You say Gauntlet. I say Gauntlet. Ah, uh, but cool, fun game, fun times, Coco 3 forever, baby. I hope you did enjoy this game. Please make sure you listen to the Coco Crew podcast on CocoCrew.org. Also, make sure you check out Boise and Bill's book. It is called Coco, the colorful history of Tandy's underdog computer, available wherever books are sold. Um, great piece of Coco history. And if you enjoy Coco games and you just can't get enough of watching me play games and you want to be able to watch my games when you're not next to a YouTube enabled device, you can purchase your very own copy of the uh, OG Stevie Stroh Coco Games video DVD. This was an exclusive product developed for the 25th anniversary Chicago Coco Fest that came out in April of this year. It is now available for purchase on my website, which is ogstevystroh.com. September is the month of Coco. I will be releasing a Coco video per day, every day this month for a minimum of 30 videos. All Coco all month long. Put in your suggestions, put in your requests. What do you want to see? Let me know. Let me hear it. I will try to get to it. I have been the original gamer Stevie Stroh. I hope you did enjoy this video. So give it a like, throw out a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, all that good crap. I will see you later. Peace out. Bye bye. Keep on gaming and Coco forever, everybody.